Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to The Butcher's Circus, and today we are playing with something unbelievable amounts of wacky. So you might look at this and think, Shep, why is your Leper in position 3? Why do you have a damage Man Arms in position 4? Why is your Jester in position 1 without Finale? <laughs> and why is your Grave Robber getting stunned with 50 dodge? There goes my strategy! Oh, God damn it, okay, I can't swear in the first 30 seconds of the video. Let's not do that. But I am already in absolute shambles. My strategy is gone. I have to shadow fade, but I can't do it anymore. Okay. Uh, first things first, we click the stunned character. That's what we're gonna do. So the idea behind this wacky ass team is that I was gonna click the grave, or I was gonna go shadow fade, and I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. Match number two, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see all of it unfold beautiful. You're gonna see goddamn magic on the on this uh, on this team happening the idea was i go shadow fade right so shadow fade to position four basically the big idea is, isn't that she's going to do a big blow after it that's not even the point the why aren't they dropping battle battle i don't know they're crazy the big idea is that after the shadow fade i drop a command to give myself accuracy and then, with the Eagle Eye Talisman and the Sharpening Stone, I apply a bleed on the frontline character with a big hit, and then with the Blood Red Coin, I make synergy of that bleed, and I have plus 40% damage, and I just drop a finale, BAM! That's one kill, and then after that we just do a lunge, and that's two characters basically at... Uh, uh, that's two characters basically... well, one dead, and one at 0 HP. So that's kind of the idea behind this team. And then I also have Retribution. The reason I have the Mana Arms in the back is to drop the command, that's literally it, because I can't drop it from the front. I have 50 dodge! Stop doing this! You have 96 accuracy! What are you doing? Where is the justice in this world? Please do not hit that. Okay. There is a touch of justice in this world. Just a touch. Very small. Practically non-existent. But maybe we can do it this time around. My opponent is misplaying out the wazoo, not dropping that battle ballad earlier. And also having this set up on the festival. I, I have no idea what they're doing with that. But they're gonna drop a vendetta on me now. Oh, but you are so screwed. <laughs> you are so screwed. You don't know it yet. But it's coming. It's coming and it's gonna destroy you. Well, what's also coming is another stun on my Jester, but uh, hopefully I'll resist it. Before anything else happens, I'm gonna drop this on Crusader just to reduce his HP a little bit, and also to give myself a pass in case they want to drop a Harvest. Harvest here is definitely scarier. Now they drop the Battle Battle, yeah, now they realize, ah, I should probably have been doing that the entire freaking match, shouldn't I? Yes, you should have. And now 16 to 30, that's a crit for 39, and no bleed, no bleed for my bleed synergy. Oh, Sharpening Stone. Why do you have 100% bleed chance? Give it 120! Like the freaking abomination with his bleeds! I don't know why, why the Butcher Circus does this. Literally, the abomination has a trinket, the Shattering Paradox, so similar to this, except it's a hell of a lot better. I don't understand the idea. You know, why make a trinket just hell of a lot better than another one? Well, this is a huge turn just to make him drop down to zero and apply the bleed. Oh, uh, no bleed. But you can see now my Leper is going absolutely crazy with these uh, with these crits here and just doing a bunch of damage. You're gonna go for the stunning blow they hit. Uh, that's a dead Crusader, let's be honest here. That's a dead Crusader. Also probably a dead Jester, but at the same time, dead Crusader to a 75. So that's good for me. And you're also not uh, having too much of a fun time here. The biggest problem is that the Vestal is still alive and chilling. That's... is he dead? Oh, he lives, actually. Does that warrant me going for a guard? Uh, do I unguard here? Yeah, sure, let's drop a guard. Let's drop a guard, keep him alive. If you want to get the kill, it's gonna have to be through Dirk Snap. So you can be a dork and do and do the Dirk Snap for the 75% kill. Hopefully it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be so freaking happy. But, you know, he's, he's probably dead. Even then, it might not be the end of the world here, as long as we can prevent this finale from just killing someone it shouldn't. But, yeah, they're gonna go for the Dirk Snap. I'm gone. So that's not too much fun here. Uh, I only have two characters at the moment. You know, the Men at Arms is kind of useless. So, I have to I have to be careful with that. Yeah, I do. What's your stun chance? That's pretty good. Not stun chance, but your chance of hitting me. So, I'm just gonna drop a Shadow Fate first, and we're gonna take it from there. This is this is gonna be rough because they still have that finale pressure and they also have a, a Vestal here, so I uh, think she can heal pretty much whoever she wants, which I obviously dislike. I could go for a chop here, 
after I chop, they just, you know, big heal. So that wouldn't really do too much. What I can do is, I can... No, I'm gonna drop another Retribution. And next round I'm gonna actually drop a card. Oh wait, have I run out of command buffs? Yes, I have. But I have a crit. I have 35 accuracy. Please don't get a stun. You have a 50-50. Okay, that's really good that they don't get a stun. That's gonna save my match here. That's a crit 40 ticks for you. And a bleed, though it doesn't really matter too much anymore. At least I don't think. It might matter. We're, we're not entirely sure as of, uh, as of yet. So you're gonna go for a heal now, but after the heal I just... You know, I just drop another chop, and your gesture is right back down to zero. Or I could be greedy, but no, we do this. Watch the 90. Nah, no 90. Uh, this could be going into Shepard's Worst Moments compil compilation. Hope you enjoyed that video yesterday. That was made by De uh, Dimer, or Dimer, uh, what his name is. Quite a nice Polish chap. And he made the, the video for me. It's so freaking epic. And we're gonna have another one. Except I need to make more epic moments, right? So we've pretty much exhausted uh, most of them. Most, not all. So this is a 75. We take it. That's really good that we actually take that 75. If time had failed, it would have been a little bit rough for me. But since it didn't fail, then uh, things are things are coming up Shepherd Doggy. I'm actually going to guard the Grave Robber here just so she doesn't get stunned. My opponent surrenders. Get wrecked. Going for a 50-50 at the start and getting it. So yeah. On to a second match we go. That's a decent team they had right there, by the way. And our wacky position 3 Leiper just took it, so let's go on for a second one. Alright, and on to a match number 2 we go. So, the previous match was against a champion player, this one's against the Darkest. And they are playing the Immortal Musketeer. I see how it is. Just good old Immortal Musketeer, full on normal setup, nothing special here. Okay, let's, let's do this then. So, I fat fingered the... Um, what do you call it? the button, so I have a button which I click to pause the recording, I have another one to end it, and they're very close to each other, so I actually ended the previous recording, which means this video is gonna have to come out late, because I'm gonna have to glue the videos together. So that's not too much fun, but such is the way of the Witcher Circus. Now, we have a big problem here, which is called ranging shot. So, because of that ranging shot, oh, I don't think I'm gonna hit the chop. What's my chop accuracy? 90? You know what, maybe we can do it. What I have to do here is, I have to drop a bolster. And why do I have to drop a bolster? The reason I do this is because if I don't drop a bolster, their uh, ranging shot is probably uh, gonna hit me. And they hit us. What? Come on, that's a 35! What is this game about? They're hitting 35s, unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna drop a Shadow Fade. Hopefully they don't hit me with 80 dodge. Look, if you deep, if you freaking unstealth me here, it's less than a 30% chance to unstealth me. Please do not get it, is what I'm, just what I'm gonna say here. So I'm gonna go for a claim. Who, who went first? They did, of course. Obviously. Why do you even ask Shepherd Doggy, you silly, silly person? Now, the big problem here is that even if I go for a chop, uh, I'm probably not gonna do enough after the Musketeer does her heal. So I'm just gonna have to drop a revenge here. So I wanted to do this strategy. I really wanted to do this strategy. Just Shadow Fate Command, Chop Finale. But with a Musketeer Heal and Last Breath Color, I find that... No! I have 80 dodge! Ah! 80! 80! 80 dodge! What? Why? Why do you do this to me? I had 80! Cloak and Dagger gives you more dodge for stealth! Why? Please don't hit me with the bell. Okay, okay. At least I dodged that, but yeah. The other ones are getting messed up by those bellows. Okay, it's not the end of the world though. We're gonna go ahead and drop a, just a cute little chop here, that's a crit 36, hello. And now I no longer have my max damage lunge, I just don't have it. My opponent's freaking uh, managed to get a 26% D stealth, so now I'm screwed. Is that enough? Ah, oh, they bellow deep of my chest! With, ah. Okay, stop raging, Shep, stop raging. Get a hold of yourself, okay? You're fine. Let's go Retribution. Two damage. Okay, now we have enough for the finale. They have to go for a heal. But after they go for a heal, they daze themselves. And I also drop a lunge. So they're wondering, oh, does he have enough damage right now? I'm gonna have to go for a stun. A stun that might miss. A stun that might... No, it's definitely not gonna fail, but... Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna eat that debuff. Uh, we're okay here. We're gonna kill that flat one soon. I don't get to go first again. So I, I have to deal with that, but I have panic darts here. 
Yeah, this, this team is actually pretty good for dealing with the Immortal Musketeer, as long as you don't get unbelievable amounts of unlucky. They even have Exotic Snuff for minus accuracy. I don't know how you hit that. I would never hit a 26% hit chance freaking ranging shot. But, oh well, what can you do about it? I'm gonna drop this on the Musketeer because it's difficult for her to deal with stress on herself. How is, how is she only taking 18? What the heck? How is that possible? Well, now they have to go for, for a heal or, or something. Uh, they're gonna go for a heal to Musketeer. Okay, makes sense. And they heal for 17. Uh, yeah, I have to go for a chop now. One thing they can do, if, if they're smart, is that they can... Well, now they have to go for a heal. But one thing that they could have done is that they could have guarded with the man at arms and this could have been very difficult for me to break through because I might have cloak and dagger but for once, you know, we've already established that I'm never gonna stay stealth. Not only that, we've already established that things aren't looking too good for me. Yeah, that's 36. Uh, that's 36. Now they can guard. They'll, de they'll definitely guard here. I'm losing. I'm losing this match very, very bad. Okay, I need a lunch crit. 12 to 19. <laughs> 13. <laughs> oh, lunch. I should never be losing this match. What a horrible game. What a horrible game this is. I cannot believe it. If I had not got hit by that D stealth, things, things would be so amazing right now. So amazing. Well, I can't even drop a. I can drop a finale. Yeah, I just have to keep hitting that. Yeah, let's keep hitting that. That's a nice crit, but now now they're guarded. I can't break guards, you know. This is a wacky team. This is not a this is not a stun mark team, which would just probably have a good time against the Immortal Musketeer and win, but yeah, okay. So here comes the beast smile. My leper is definitely taking damage here, but he'll he'll stay alive. He'll stay alive for sure. So here come the command boss. It's gonna give me crits for me, which I desperately need. After this we're gonna go Shadow Fade, we're gonna have 65 dodge, so hopefully you know, uh, not get hit by that uh, ranging shot. And finally, we get one dodge on our Grave Robber, lovely. One one dodge to save the to save the world here. Well, it's going to be a Shadow Fade. Now the biggest mistake they could do is use their Musketeer action for like a ranging shot. If they do that, they're throwing, because uh, then my Hugh might do enough damage. They're not, they're not throwing, they know what they're doing. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, they know what they're doing. Well, in that case, I have to... They're dropping down to zero, actually. That's pretty good for me. Uh, I'm gonna drop another Retribution here. So, let's drop a Retribution on you, because I don't want to get hit by a crit. That's actually really good. That means more accuracy and less stress taken by me. But uh, if I don't get a kill, that's not gonna matter, you know. I need to get a kill. I must get the kill. So, they do 17. There's no world where I do 17 damage. Unless... Nah, there's no world where I do 17. I do a decent amount, but you know, it's no 17, that's for sure. They're gonna lose their days as well, so that's gonna be rough. I probably do 7 damage though, uh, even through the guard. So they're gonna suffer. That's gonna give them death blow resistance, that's smart. A uh, smart play by them to do that. And I'm just gonna Dirk Snap for 5! <laughs> of course! Of course, those Velodivos are very annoying. They're not, they're not even at that store now, so they don't have to worry about anything. They don't have to worry about lunch. Ah, I love the Butcher Circus. I really do. I really, really do. Okay, they're gonna go for a stun on me. Oh no, they're gonna go Beast Mounted Repast. Kind of crazy, but I only do 9 somehow. And now I have a few options, right? And now I have a few options, so... Car Finale. Hmm. I'm gonna have to kill someone else, but that's easier said than done. Uh, I might click here and just and just heal. Maybe wait it out a bit. Okay, let's do that. Let's click here and heal. We're gonna wait it out a bit. Hopefully, crit forty four. No, that's no crit forty four. Well, that's sad, but such is the way of the Witcher. So, is that actually twenty two damage? I'm not sure if that's 22 damage, if 18 goes up to 22, probably should have checked. So they just defend her here. One thing I'm thinking of is panic darts on her, that could potentially work. But I'm not gonna do that just yet, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna drop a command buff, give myself more accuracy. And more crits, which is good, very very good. And let's see what they wanna do now. Maybe they go for a preemptive heal. If they go for a preemptive heal, I might just go lunge on the abomination and finale him. I'd I definitely have enough damage considering he's bleeding. He, he he did that to himself, he got himself bleeding. 
Yeah, they go for a preemptive heal. Well, in that case, they have minus healing skills. Yeah, we can kill the A-bomb here. That's pretty much a guarantee. 25 to 30, and he's dead. Even if they heal here, I just drop a finale, and he's uh, he's definitely dead. So they misplayed not going, uh, going for that preemptive heal. I feel like they didn't have to do that. They could have taken a risk or they could have just clicked the redeem instead or gone for an exagonate because they would drop the death star right they could have probably taken a risk they can drop a redeem but unless it's a crit heal there's there's no way they save themselves i have a finale here with look look at the damage i have plus 40 and three buffs it's 16 to 29 there's no way you save that and that's your character gone which is really not what you want when you're playing the immortal musketeer you don't want to lose a character if you lose a character you're, you're having a really bad time but maybe they can still win this i don't know maybe they can still win we're, we're not entirely sure here i have a post man at arm so that's definitely going to come in clutch but no they surrender and that's ggs that's two wins for the wacky the wacky position 3 leper. so I would play more, but this video is really going to be super freaking late, and if I play more, it's going to be even later, and then y'all are not going to enjoy it. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'll definitely play with this team again. I'm going to call it the... Um, uh, let's call it the Wacky Leper. Let's call it the Wacky Leper, because I feel like it works. <laughs> it's wacky, but it works, right? I'm going against two teams that are definitely quite decent, two players that are quite good, and it just works. It doesn't have heals, it doesn't really... It doesn't really respect any rules of the Butcher Circus. It has Sharpening Stone, but it just works. And this is, this is really what matters if you're making a team. If you can think of an idea, and like of a game plan for you to get an early kill, get an advantage after that, even if it's wacky as hell, it can work. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.